hi guys welcome to my channel if you're new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell to get notified on my upcoming videos especially you want to stay tuned on my next videos i'm teaching you guys how to do anything 5m gta related if you aren't new here welcome back um so today i'm going to be showing you guys pretty much how to convert sims for nails over to gta 5 5m um yes yeah, so i'm going to show, show you guys that it's pretty much easy and you got to do a little bit of editing but we will get through it today all right so the first thing we want to do is go ahead and grab whatever nail file you want to use i've already chosen one and open up your sims 4 studio so i'm just going to close all of this stuff out and i'm going to open up sims 4 studio Today I'll be using the Sims 4 Studio version 3.2.1.7, the star version. There may be a new version available, but this one I have been using and it has not failed me yet. So we're just going to go ahead and open up Sims 4 Studio. And once you have your package and ready to use, um, or you know what nails you want to use, go ahead and hit My Projects. You should have a package file here. Um, wherever you saved it to so i'm going to use coco bougie nail set whatever this is um and i'm going to open it and you should come into this now if you come into this part right here it may be a package that is um merged together so you have to unmerge it so i'm going to just make sure you're on studio and these are the nails that i am using as you can see those are the nails that i will be using today those are the nails I'll be using today. So what you need to do is actually get the actual mesh. So we're going to get the mesh and we're going to export, leave all of this alone. Do not touch any of this. Just export mesh here. And then you're going to save it. It should be a blender file. So I have it saved at nails blend. So I'm not going to save it again. Then you want to get the actual texture, which is the picture of the nails. And you're going to hit the fuse and export under the texture box here okay so that's pretty much all you need to do with sims 4 studio so you're going to go ahead and exit out of everything so what you can use is either blender version you want to use it does not matter um for this demonstration i'm going to use what i've always been using is blender 3.5 all right so i'm going to use my blender 3.5 what i'm going to do is get all of this out of here okay so we don't need this so highlight everything and press delete it's going to delete and my stuff of what i'm doing is going to be sitting over here so we're going to open up the blend file that we just got from sims 4 studio so we're just going to hit file open don't save um, I have it saved in wherever that nails blender file that we got from Sims 4 Studio and I'm just going to open it up. So we have our Sims 4 body, its bones and the nail file we need. So I'm just going to click on the nail file because we don't need anything else but the nails. And I'm going to double click it and make sure that we are saving that nail mesh. We're going to hit file, export wavefront obj we want to turn this into an obj we're going to make sure it's limited to selected only is selected with the checkbox and we're going to save it wherever you want to save okay so i've already saved it no need for me to save it but you would save it so now what you want to go ahead and do is open up a new blend file here file new general don't save remember to delete all this out so now we're going to open up that wavefront obj that we just saved we're going to go to import file import wavefront obj and then we're going to open up that nail obj that we saved previously and import so as you see we have the nails here there's no texture just yet because we have to apply them on which we already saved the texture okay so we have the nails here so now what we want to go ahead and do is import a GTA 5 body, okay? Um, you can do this from Code Walker, import the body file into Code Walker and remove the body. 
or what you can do just save it as an obj if you have it as an obj you can import it again the body so i'm going to import the body here so i'm just going to use this body all right so i have the body in i put a box on it because it is a naked body and i don't want to get my video removed now so once you input the body you're just going to move it up to where the nails is or move the nails down whichever way you like um, so I'm just going to move it up. I did press G then Z. Um, that's a lot of videos on Blender, how to move, doing a tutorial, but this is not that video for that. So I'm not going to even teach too much of how to operate Blender. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're just going to remove one part of the nail because we're going to just mirror it so that we're not working slowly and doing them one by one. We're only going to work with using one hand. So what we're going to do is just going to click our nails. We're going to go into edit mode and we're going to hit the viewport. Uh, we're going to hit the viewport shading here, right here, so that we can get all of the vertices and nails picked up from this. So what we're going to do here, we're just going to highlight everything here. So it highlights the whole one side of the nail. You can do either or it does not matter. Um, but it's best to do what I'm doing so you get the gist. So we're just going to highlight the whole one side of the nail, the left side, and we're going to hit the delete key on our keyboard. And then we're going to hit delete vertices. So it deleted everything from there. Okay. All right. So now what we want to do on the other side, you can actually hide your body if it does not, if you cannot see well. You can actually just hide your body here, which is the cue for me. And what we're going to do now, we're going to just separate the nails because we have to get it to form in a way of the GTA 5 hand. So what we're going to do here is highlight one of the nails still in our viewport shading here or x-ray shading. We're going to highlight the whole one thumbnail and we're going to right click or you can press the p on your keyboard and select selection so it separated the thumbnail from all the nails so you're going to do the same thing for all the nails um if you want to name them you can so i'll name this thumb so we're going to do the same thing for all the nails here we're going to select that right click or P selection. So now we have a new nail here and we're just gonna name this pointer and you're just gonna continue to do the same thing for all the nails here. All right, so once you got everything selected and renamed, you can now go over to object mode here so now if you um, scroll through, you have your middle finger, your pinky finger, your pointer, your ring finger. This studio mesh, you can right click, delete hierarchy, and then I have your thumb. So now they're all separated. So as you can see, I could just move this around like this and it's separated. So what we want to go ahead and do now, we want to go ahead and put our body back in and we're going to turn off the x-ray mode up here and go into viewport shading all right so now as you see you're wondering how can we put this on i don't see where the nails start or begin so this is what you'll use you'll select the body go into um, material properties here we want to put on a the top piece so we know where the nails start and end so you'll see materials here just go ahead and delete every one I want to add on a new one. It may not work this go. I might have to separate it, but we'll see. So we're going to shading up here and see it already. Once you add it on a new one, it already added on its properties. So what we're going to do is get the texture from the GTA body. So you should already have the YTD. You just export it into the DDS file, drop it in and connect it. So right now it may look weird because I 
added on all of the other stuff in it so but it's what we want to do for now um because you won't need this texture when you are exporting so i'm going to go back over to layout and turn on the shading for this and bring this down and as you see we see the nails on the pad now so we know where to place the acrylic nails or fake nails on or the mesh nails on so now we're going to start with the thumb let's start with the thumb and we're going to select it and we're going to place it where the thumb is so in order to place it properly we want to use the keypad the num keypad so one is to get it to the front view three is to get it to the side view so those are the only ones we will be using one and three so if i use one because if you don't use this and start to put on your nails like move it around it's not going to move correctly to where you want it to move so what i'm going to do is hit one i'm going to zoom in shift click up and then press g to move and we're going to move it here so it's not on quite yet but like i said we're using these numbers on the numpad to actually get it to line up correctly. So now I'm going to put it, I'm going to hit the three on my numpad. I'm going to shift, click over. You can hide these other ones right here because we don't need it. So yeah, I'm going to click it and then I'm hit G and move it over. So now it's touching the actual nail. As you can see, without any wonkiness or anything. Okay. So now what we need to do is actually rotate it. So we're going to use our rotation in our move up here as well. So if you click on it and you don't see it here, you're going to right click on the nail and set origin to origin to geometry. All right. So that you can see the actual scale here. So now we're just going to rotate it. To the best of your knowledge or whatever and then we're going to move it in so pretty much that looks perfect but we're going to move it out a little bit more all right so that pretty much looks perfect like it's on the nail so i'm going to do the same thing with the other nails i'm just going to give you an example again with the pointer finger so we're going to hide the thumb because we do not need it so we're going to open up the pointer so we're going to hit one, we're going to click it, and then the origin is not where it's supposed to be. So I'm going to right click, set to origin, origin to geometry, move it all the way over, move it down, and we're going to hit three, move it over, hit one, and it looks like it's in place, but now I'm going to um use the rotate key and rotate it hit the move and bring it in so i'm gonna hit three to see how it looks hit one so it looks like i need to actually rotate it more All right, so it don't have to look super, super perfect, just enough to know that it's on the actual finger. So that's pretty much how you do that. So I'm just going to fast forward through the rest of the nails. Mine's may not be perfect, but on your end, if you want this to be as perfect as possible, you do it as perfect as possible if you want. Um, so I'm just going to continue with the rest of the nails. And when I come back, I will show you how to mirror it to the other side so that we don't have to do the same thing again and that's just tedious work okay
all right guys so i've got it to the best of way i can do it um so with the pinky finger you would have to pinky in the ring finger you would have to turn it a little bit um but not too much because you remember you do have to rig this so you don't want your ribs going over or overlapping so now we're going to put it back into view hit one i'm going to zoom out So now what we want to do, since we all have the rig together, um, we're going to join these. So it doesn't matter how you join them. So you're going to click one, shift, click the next 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 one, right click, join. So now it's all one. I changed the name to nails. So now if you just suddenly move it, is all one okay um so now but you don't want to do that just yet okay so now what we want to do is go ahead and mirror this so i'm going to get back into one so in order to put on a mirror modifier we're just going to go over to here to where it says modifier properties add modifier and you're going to hit mirror so now what you want to do is mirror object here you want to hit the cube because that's the whole body and it's mirrified it should be mirrified on the x-axis because we're on the x-axis when we hit one okay so now without overworking yourself it's on the other side of the nail so you want to apply this mirror modifier you don't want to keep it like this because if you keep it in it might lose its mirror modifier so hit apply so now what we want to do is put on a texture to make sure everything is working and synced up and the textures look like they're supposed to be textured. So we're going to hit the material properties, remove this because it's from the nails, add new. We're going to go over to shading up here. And we're going to find that nail texture for Sims um, Studio that we made or not made, but that we had and we're just gonna drop it here. And then we're gonna line the color up to base color. So now when you go back over to layout, you should have the nails should look like this. And to make sure the other side should be the same as well. So that's pretty much how you convert Sims 4 nails to GTA 5 and make them GTA 5 ready or 5M ready. All right, so now in this case, I'm not gonna show the rigging because that's in my courses and also you can view rigging from any other place, it does not matter. So just remember when you're rigging, find a rig that's similar, rig it to those nails. And there you have it, you have your base nails. You can save as OBJ actually. So you can hit that file, export wavefront OBJ and you have your nails ready for rigging to your 5M or GTA 5 body, okay? So thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, you can always write them in the in the um, comments below or join my Discord, you guys. More help is being um, open to you guys for me to assist in Discord. So if you need any assistance, just go ahead and hit the Discord and I'll be sure to answer all your questions. Thanks for watching.